Welcome back. So let's try and create a loading screen while we wait for the data to get returned from the backend. So to do that, we're going to use something that Yannick built uh, for us called the loading controller, right? So we're going to make, again, a dependency injected guy right here because we're going to need a loading controller. Let's just call it loading controller and that's going to be of the type loading controller. So now we have um, a controller that can show a loading screen and hide it again when we don't want it anymore. That makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this local down here when we get the joke, we want to show the loading screen until the joke is ready, right? So we'll create a loader, right? That's just, it. that's a, that's a representation of, of what we want to show the screen, right? So the loader is like, we're going to create something that we can present to the user. Now the loading controller, this the loading controller has a function, there we go, it has a function called create, where we can create a view and there's a lot of things we can do with this but what we're going to do is just present a text so inside a loading controller I can kind of say that I wanna go in here and present some content and that content is going to be just a text saying getting joke that's just a name there we go so now we're kind of explaining here using the loading controller that Yannick built for us that kind of figures out what device you're on depending on that device you'll probably show a different loading screen we can create a specific um, load screen with the text of getting joke. So we're going to present this now with a small text of getting joke. You can put other information in here. You can try and Google that. I'll, I'll try and find you a link in the description if you want to put more in here. We can play more with it the next lesson. So we have the loader now. Now what we can do with the loader is we can say, Dear loader, please present yourself. So present. And then this is what we call a promise. Now, a promise is kind of the same like the observable I talked about earlier, except right now, as soon as I put in present, I actually execute some code right away. And then when the code is executed, then I can call another function called then. So like we did with the, down here we did with the subscribe, with a promise instead we're saying then. So when you're done showing the loader, then you need to do something else. Now what do we actually want to do inside the then is we want to kind of again using the fatter notation right here we can say when you've shown the loader I want you to then start actually going and grabbing our HTTP client so I'll just move all this code in here. So now we're saying show the loader and then do something and when you're done doing this at some point you're getting a joke back right when that is actually done I want the loader to be hidden again we can do that by saying loader this mess right here. Right, so let's just try and look at this code again because I know this is a lot of code going on right here. There's a lot happening, but let's just have a look here. We start by creating a loader that we can show some text in right now and let's, we can play around with putting more information into this loader later. But right now we're just presenting some information, just getting joke. Now that's actually going to be executed down here. So now when we do this, we're going to show the loading screen. When the loading screen is shown, then we want to do something more. We actually want to call the request, get the joke from the backend, do all the gibberish where we go to the backend, send a request, get some data back. When the data is returned, we want to set the local joke and then we want to hide the loading window, right? That makes sense. Let's try and see if this actually works. So if I'm refreshing the page right now, you'll see getting data. If you didn't see it, it's, it's quite a, kind of quick, right? But let's just see it again. Getting joke. There we go. So let's just try and because there was one thing that kind of annoyed me that is that we still see this button in the background so now we can remove that. We don't need this yun card anymore that actually shows not loaded. So let's just try again here and see our page. Let's refresh. Loading data. Boom. That's freaking awesome. We just added a loader and look how simple it was. I know the code might be complex. Try and have a look at it. But it, we're, we just added like, I don't know, five lines of code and now we actually show a real loading screen while we get data. Now this is Something you need to do for your application. You need to show a loading screen. Users don't get it when they don't see things are loading. Uh, and, and sometimes because we're using asynchronous methods, things will take time to load. So that's how you use the loading screen. We can play more with this content inside when we're creating the loading screen in the next lesson. See you next time.